Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for weeks 38 and 39. So let's hop on into what's been going on for like the last week and a half, two weeks. All right, so weeks 38 and 39. <sighs> I'm going to apologize ahead of time. I am so pregnant. I am so out of breath. So number one symptom this week, out of breath. <laughs> I've been so out of breath and the last week I've been very uncomfortable. I've officially hit that stage in my pregnancy where I am just, you guys, I'm just done. I'm ready to have my body back. I'm ready to have my lungs back. This part of pregnancy reminds me why I highly dislike, I'm not gonna say hate, but highly dislike when people say, well, you better get your sleep now before the baby comes. Not true, it's so not true. I'm not sleeping at night right now. I'm getting like four hours of really disgruntled sleep. Um, I get up like every 30 to 45 minutes to pee. My hips are ex in this excruciating pain because baby is ready to make his appearance. He is head down. My hips feel like they're literally breaking in half. I know that's like super dramatic, but my hips feel like they're being torn apart from the inside. In fact, I was telling some of the guys at work today, because I work with all guys, um, I was telling the guys, it feels like he is head down, he, here's my hips, and it feels like he is hanging onto my hips for dear life, and he does not want to come out of my uh, womb. He is hanging on, and he is trying his best to stay in there, which I don't blame him because you know what guys, air temp today with wind chill was 20 below zero Fahrenheit and that is here in Minnesota. I live in Minnesota. I'm a Minnesota girl through and through, but the winters are brutal here. So I don't blame him for not wanting to come out of the warm, comfy space I have created for him in my tummy. Okay, so I'm gonna do something a little bit different this week. I am going to hop onto my favorite pregnancy app, which is The Bump, by the way, in my top 12 pregnancy tips video, which I will link up here for you guys. Um, I can never remember if it's left or right, which, I mean, I, I should know by now, but anyways, I'll link it up here for you guys, that video. But I tell you guys that one of my top tips is to have a good app. Um, and the reason why I like this app so much, and I know there's a lot of them out there, but the reason why I like this one so much is because not only does it give you, a, okay, that looked super inappropriate, um, but it's just a winter melon, guys. It's nothing crazy. Um, but it like will show you the fruit. What a terrible week for me to like show you. Okay, so I had it on week 38. So this is week 39, this is a little bit more appropriate. Um, so here's a pumpkin, baby's the size of a pumpkin this week, it's saying, but it'll show you that like a fruit um, or a vegetable to compare baby's size to, and then it'll actually give you a 3D view um, as well, which I'll show you here in a sec. But it says that um, baby's 19.9 inches and about 7.23 pounds which actually I am going to guess he is closer to eight pounds uh, because Kaya was born at 42 weeks and she was nine pounds, two ounces. And the baby boy is tracking a little bit smaller than she was, um, not too much smaller, but that's my guess. I think his birth weight's gonna be close to eight pounds and I am potentially being induced this Friday, which I'll hop into that in a sec. So. Week 39 says baby's probably able to flex limbs now. Baby's brain is still rapidly developing and getting smarter by the week. Baby's nails may extend past the fingertips. Uh, baby keeps growing despite being so crowded in there. He or she is, is probably weighing around 6.2 to 9.2 pounds and measures about 18.9 to 20.9 inches. My guess on his length is, I'm guessing he's gonna be right around 20 inches long. It says, yay, baby has reached full term. You're probably feeling like you want to get this baby the heck out of you. Absolutely. <laughs> it says, we're not sure, but the importance and discomfort many moms feel around 39 weeks might be nature's way of getting you mentally prepared for delivery. Um, all right, but this is my favorite part of this app and why I recommend it is because it will give you a 3D look at your baby and you can twist around, you can see, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, and it will give you um, a view of the baby 
in your body. This was my favorite part of this app throughout my entire pregnancy. I looked at this so many times thinking like, okay, he's kicking me here. How big is he this week in my belly? Um, it's one thing to see them 3D on their own. It's another thing to see them 3D inside the tummy. So this is rather zoomed in, um, but that is because it um, shows the ladies up top and I don't want to get flagged by YouTube for any reason. Definitely recommend this app. This is my favorite app. But as you guys can see, um, he is huge. He is a fully cooked chicken. It's time to get out the womb. All right, so how I've been feeling, like I was mentioning, my hips are in excruciating pain. I am very much so out of breath. And you guys, I'm gonna give you that TMI warning. It's the end of pregnancy. I feel like if you're watching pregnancy update videos, you're prepared for the TMI information. But just in case, friends, family, if you're watching this and you don't wanna know, I am not offended if you click out of this video or decide to skip over to the end so that you can see my bump. My mucus plug is gone. Goodbye, see you later, it is gone out of there. I have been losing like small pieces of my mucus plug over the past like couple of weeks. I thought for sure I'd already kind of lost it and I know that it can regenerate as well um, but I'm thinking that this is kind of the final real deal this time um, since I am so close to my due date. Um, but Saturday night so just a few nights ago I the entire thing goodbye see you later. Um, I have been doing some crazy curb walking and stair stepping, trying to get my cervix to open up and dilate a little bit more. Now my last pregnancy appointment, which was last Tuesday, I was dilated to about a two. So I believe in my last update that I uploaded for you guys, I was at a one. Um, and then last week I was at a two. And that's incredible progress compared to my last pregnancy. Um, my first or my last pregnancy was my first pregnancy, but I did not progress at all. My cervix didn't even ripen or soften um, or anything like that my first time. I had to go in and get induced at 40, almost 42 weeks um, and have Cervidil inserted in. And then I was um, put on Pitocin the next morning to get me uh, going and get me dilated. I was at almost a one when I walked in for my induction with my first pregnancy. So and that was at almost 42 weeks again. So to be progressing so wonderfully this time around has been amazing and I'm very grateful and I know that you can sit at a two or a three for weeks, um, but I'm very grateful that my body is finally doing something this time around. So my appointment this week, I'm hoping that I'll be at approximately a four, a three or a four. Um, I've been doing lots of walking. I have been um, keeping on top of my evening primrose oil. I have been drinking lots of red raspberry leaf tea and I have been doing all of the safe labor inducing um, things, if you will. <laughs> Last weekend I ate an entire pineapple, which I mean, if that didn't do anything, that's fine. <laughs> I just love pineapple. It was super ripe and delicious. So I had an entire pineapple to myself. Like I said, I would, did the curb walking and I did some crazy stair stepping and I've been bouncing on my ball. I've just really been trying to engage um, his head down into my pelvis and make sure that we are ready to go. Now, unfortunately, because I was doing all this crazy stuff, um, I pulled a muscle in my groin. <laughs> super great um, and it's really hard for me to walk it's so painful to walk right now I'm a little bit miserable but I did it to myself <laughs> I shouldn't have been so crazy but um, yeah Saturday morning it was like 12 below zero air temp and I was outside the hardware store while my husband was shopping and my daughter was watching me from the vehicle there was a curb right in front of the um, truck so I was just curb walking right in front of the vehicle, 12 below zero. I looked like an absolute crazy person, but that's okay. I'm willing to look crazy to get my body prepared for labor. Um, again this week, my um, swelling has kicked up quite a bit. Um, I'm very uncomfortable. I can feel in my ankles. My ankles really hurt. It feels like I sprained both my ankles. It's a little bizarre. Um, and now when I'm waking up in the morning, 
it is very hard to grasp my toothbrush so in my other updates I mentioned that I am struggling with carpal tunnel in these late weeks of pregnancy now I did experience this with my first pregnancy as well but I experienced it from about 25 weeks on this time I've really I think it was at 34 or 35 weeks on it's about where I started to experience more of the carpal tunnel symptoms but brushing my teeth yeah is a little bit difficult um, I brush them like this in the morning I can't even grasp um, my toothbrush just because it's so sore and my hands are numb and I just look really pathetic I'm sure in the morning but um, yeah my swelling you guys I've got these sausage fingers but my wedding ring is still fitting and coming on and off very easily so I'm happy about that because I did not get to wear it this long last time around my nose as you guys can maybe hear a little bit I am struggling with a little bit of nasal congestion. Um, I don't know if I maybe just caught a tiny little virus or um, it's just everything, all the membranes and the whatnots just get a little bit uh, swollen, if you will. Contractions, really, honestly, the, the contractions have been really random. I've had a lot of Braxton Hicks, a lot more consistent Braxton Hicks, um, but there hasn't been any, or there hasn't been a ton of those like real contractions now i have had a lot of cramping which i am associating with my um, cervix possibly dilating my appointments are a little bit more spaced out for 38 and 39 weeks my 38 week appointment was last tuesday and then i don't see my doctor until this thursday at like 4 20 pm so um and that is the appointment you guys that i will be scheduling my induction. I am doing an elective induction this time around um, just because we don't want to risk a baby um, getting as big as she did last time. With bigger babies there's just a lot more complications that come with it. Your risk for a c-section does increase quite a bit and um, the blood sugar is a really big issue just because it's hard to stabilize blood sugars for a larger baby. Um, shoulders getting displaced or possibly dislocated once you're giving birth um, these are all possible risks that we have gone through and talked about. But we are going to do an elective induction this time around, and I just feel comfortable with it too. Um, I'll give you guys a little bit more of an update after I see my doctor on Thursday and I know more of the details. Again, I don't see him until like super late in the day on Thursday, so I'm hoping that night that I'll be able to come home, sit down, kind of record through a little bit of what happened, and then... Um, possibly I think that would probably be my last quote-unquote bump date but we will see <laughs> um, I'm hoping he won't let me go past next Monday but again we will see weight gain so weight gain for the past month honestly I haven't gained any more I've kind of been maxed out at this 30 pounds gained which was my absolute max for this time and I'm very happy with it I have been eating whatever the heck I want for the past three four weeks and I feel terrible about it but I've just been making sure that it's within my calorie range and calling it good all the unhealthy things but I just don't have the appetite or the energy to put into a bunch of healthy meal cooking right now the healthiest I get is for breakfast I'm having my protein shake but I will hop back on the train and keep you guys posted after I have baby I will have a postpartum weight loss series coming out for you guys which is something I'm very passionate about and I'm very excited to start that series for you um, and start like a transformation series. I love, love, love um, nutrition and exercise. I am kind of a little bit of a nut about it. I went to almost three years of dietetic school before I switched over to doing accounting. So it's kind of a weird tidbit on me is I guess I like math and nutrition and I like to talk to a camera and upload it to the internet I'm a little weird my stretch marks I've not gotten any new stretch marks they come to about just below my belly button um, and they're still all um, silvery but they've gotten more stretched out if you will um, none of them are like pink and red yet which tells me that they're likely not new they're probably old stretch marks from my first pregnancy um, I don't feel like I've gotten quite as big this time I have more of like a globe belly um, carrying very much so out front um, but not quite as big I didn't gain as much weight this time so two big thumbs up 
for me and that. <laughs> I think I told you guys last time, but I am still leaking um, colostrum or colostrum. However you wanna pronounce it, everybody pronounces it differently. Um, I am still leaking um, fluid, which is good, means that they are ready to produce for baby. We have pretty much everything ready to go at this point for baby boy. Now, I have slipped his name a couple of times, so if you guys have caught on to it, good for you. Keep it a secret. I am gonna be doing like a big official name reveal um, during his birth vlog. Now, I mean, if you really wanted to find out, guys, uh, spoiler alert, I think I do have a picture um, on my Instagram of his name, but if you wanna surprise yourselves, um, I will be having like a quote unquote official name reveal during that video. Again, you guys, I do have an I'm in labor video, so as soon as I'm in labor, you guys will know I'll make that video live. Right now it's sitting on my channel unlisted, waiting to be clicked on and made live. And believe me, I want to make it live as much as you guys wanna see that I'm in labor. This week I have all of my last minute stuff. We have the nursery nursery done, which I uploaded right before this video. I have the bedside nursery done, which I uploaded for you guys last week. And I have my lashes fill, I have my nail fill, just got my hair done last Thursday. I I would say like I'm pretty much ready. My bags are packed, my body hurts, I am ready to meet my baby boy. All right you guys, that is gonna wrap it up for weeks 38 and 39 in this pregnancy, my second pregnancy. If you guys have any questions, please leave it in the comments down below and I would be more than happy to answer your questions for you. I'm very active on the comments section the first day or so of my videos. So make sure that if you do have a question, you pop it down below, just in case this happens to me by my last bump date. Really, we're at that point in the pregnancy now where any bump date could be the last one, which is why I'm combining weeks 38 and 39, um, because right now I am 39 and three, I believe. So really, it could be any day. Again, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video, today's bump date. I am so excited to meet this baby. I'm sure you guys are getting a little bit antsy to see this baby. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you like the mommy videos on my channel. Again, leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe to my little family here on YouTube so that you don't miss out when I upload the I'm in labor video, my birth vlog, all of the newborn videos I have coming out for you guys. I'll have like lots of newborn day in the life and all of the essential videos. Oh, I'm so excited. In the postpartum weight loss, ah, it's gonna be a lot of fun. I can't wait. All right, guys, I will see you sometime in the very near future, which hopefully will be Thursday or Friday this week. Okay, bye, guys. All right, my sister has been staying, so ignore her mess over here. Um, but there is my 39 week belly, you guys. Very pregnant. Wow, come on baby boy. Got a light right here so it's a little harsh and crazy, but you guys get the gist. Kinda crazy, huh? Wowza. Okay. Holy moly. Dutch a big bump. Okay, bye guys. What a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.